We have built the world's largest functioning hammer. Oh, oh yes! That's so cool. That is proper blowing my mind. Nudge in three, two, one. Oh! What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. You know that I'm a conservative, I'm a Republican, I'm a patriot, I love this country, but you know the people I like to call out the very most are Republicans, actually. Republicans are liars. Republicans sometimes break the law, and when Republicans deserve to go to jail, I'm all for it. It's good to be able to call out your own side, and it's good because you need an established set of facts. There ain't no angels in this earth. You gotta have a set of facts and rules that like we all agree upon, and that's why we're really happy when the most fanatical broke brain, goblins, and mutants, reptile people of the left, uh, get completely fact-checked into the sun and nuked with their own inability to comprehend the reality of the world around them. That's, an, uh, that's a long way of saying, man, I love this exchange on Twitter.com. Rep Nancy Mace, who's from South Carolina. She's good on some things. She's bad on some things. Whatever, Rep Nancy Mace. You're never going to agree with everyone 100% of the time. She's a Republican. It's pretty cool. Uh, Hillary Clinton used a hammer to destroy evidence on private email server, classified information on that server, and was never indicted. The same standard should be applied to everyone, she says, with a uh, pretty good viral tweet there. 2,000 retweets. You know, somebody comes through who used to anchor a very famous program on MSNBC, of all places, somebody who fancies himself a newsman. His name's Keith Oberman. Keith Oberman's job was to report the facts to you, Keith Oberman responded saying, you know that didn't happen, right? Are you okay? You seem to be hallucinating a lot lately. Meaning, you know Hillary Clinton didn't break or destroy evidence on a private email server with a hammer, right? Keith Oberman's job was to deliver the news. Keith Oberman's job was to, at the very least, separate facts from fiction. Well, it turns out that uh, Keith Oberman is the one hallucinating because he got community noted into the sun. If you're not familiar with Twitter, community notes is a function where they will tag on sources to your tweet when you are effing lying. Some devices from Hillary Clinton were in fact destroyed by a hammer. <laughs> Business insider Snopes even, far left wing, uh, completely degenerate Snopes. Did Hillary Clinton smash her phone with a hammer? Well, yeah, actually, one of Hillary Clinton's devices, uh, aides told the FBI that two, on two occasions, he disposed of her unwanted mobile devices by breaking them with a hammer. What's false, Hillary Clinton didn't personally destroy her phone with a hammer. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, one of the things that's linked to at the bottom of his tweet is this video from CNN, which is the greatest thing to ever happen on live TV. He destroyed blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what one the president said. Actually, and Evan, by the way, Evan, Evan, no, Evan, hold on. The way, can you fact check that? Hang on, that hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Evan Perez. Hammers, fact check that for me, please, on the fly. Uh, yes, they did, Brooke. I, I, so. As, uh, <laughs> ah, they as did. you mentioned, there were uh, 13 devices, mobile devices, and five iPads that uh, the FBI said that you know, in some way, were used with with her private email server, and they did, in some cases, just destroy them with hammers when they were done using them. Oh. She said That's a she pretty good way of just. Not her training, no, it's not. Device. That is absolutely not following the rules and regulations of the State Department. You know it. Your 52 reasons just went down to one. Boom, shaka, laka, man, but uh, just absolute scorched earth destruction. Nancy Mace uh, clapped back at Keith Oberman after he got just completely nuked here. Fact, a hammer was used to destroy government devices. Hillary Clinton's server was wiped out with a program called Bleachbit. All fact checked by CNN, link below. Maybe your weed is stale. Who's hallucinating now? Boom, shaka, laka. Uh, we did want to remind you of a couple of important things about Hillary Clinton. For those who forgot, Hillary Clinton installed a server to sidestep record-keeping laws, illegally retained thousands of classified material, removed classified markings from those materials. People without security clearances managed her server. Server security was so bad it was predictably hacked by our enemies, destroyed 33,000 subpoenaed emails, physically destroyed phones and servers, smashed them with a hammer. Obama, DOJ, and FBI colluded to give her a get-out-of-jail-free card, and the FBI agreed to destroy all of her aides' laptops and incriminating evidence. But Trump's the one who needs to go to the guillotine! Hillary Clinton griping and muling about this. 
the Trump arc is so enraging. CNN, not the only people who have the greatest fact check in history. This is a fact check from back in 2016 from NBC News. Fact check. Trump said Clinton acid washed her email server. She did not claim. Trump says Clinton acid washed her email server. The truth. Clinton's team used an app called Bleach Bit. She did not use a corrosive chemical. <laughs> oh, man. The amount of ventriloquism that needs to happen between Hillary Clinton and her agents inside of owned and operated media propaganda sites is really something. That's how she gets away with questions like this. What, like with a cloth or something? Well, no. Did you wipe the server? I mean, make me the cloth or something? Oh, oh, it's so disgusting. Ah, oh, what these people get away with. They, 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 they have gotten away with, though, murder. And I'm not just talking about Jeffrey Epstein, which is another murder that they did get away with. Do you know that Bill Clinton lost the nuclear clo codes for months? Oh, that's weird. How did that happen? Don't know! Don't know! A comedy of errors kept anyone from finding out. Oh, no, Bill Clinton lost the nuclear codes. During Clinton's presidency, officials said the department discovered the nuclear codes had gone missing. And Bill Clinton was responsible. That seems like an important thing. Where uh, exactly is Bill Clinton's indictment? Bill Clinton's secrets in his sock drawer. You know, Bill Clinton held secrets in his sock drawer. Hmm. Bill Clinton held classified information inside of his sock drawer. CBS News writes gleefully, Thank goodness he had lots of socks because there's plenty of room for classified top secret material. They're celebrating him. They're writing books about it. The Bill Clinton Tapes. This is a book that was written by an author celebrating the fact that, and I quote, Clinton kept the top secret tapes in his sock drawer where he kept all of his secrets. Reading to you directly from CBS News. They're celebrating the fact that he did this. You know that uh, Clinton, Cl Bill Clinton's national security aide, a guy named Sandy Berger, that he stole classified documents from the National Archives. The same National Archives, the angry blue-haired librarians that are going after Donald Trump. Sandy Berger stole classified documents from those National Archives, shoved them down the front of his pants, and then cut them up with scissors. Real facts. He, he, pled, he pled guilty, your honor. Berger responded to when he asked how he uh, pled. He called it an honest mistake when he shoved the classified documents down his pants. Oh, interesting. What was he trying to hide? He destroyed three copies of the same document dealing with terror threats during the 2000 Millennium Celebration. Wow. What's inside of those documents? I wonder. I wonder. What would he be destroying? Somebody should look into that. He was given a $10,000 fine and never had to go to jail. But they're trying to put Donald Trump in prison for 400 years. Got it? Wipe it down with a cloth. It's all fun and games to these people. Because they believe that they're in charge. Are they in charge? We're working hard to make sure that they're not in charge. People know the truth. The best way that you can support us in that is you can like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Fight communism with us. It's really fun. It's your boy Benny. See ya. Oh,